Oh, you you got the garnet. We were in the future and we are back. Oh, I'm afraid of you, Joe. Don't don't do like that. Don't be a finals. <laughs> well, anyway, so welcome to Toys TV X Unbox. Uh, this time we bring you the Hot Toys uh, One Six Scale, Guardian of the Galaxy Two. What's the name? Is it Hoppy? Yandu. Yandu. Yeah. And you know what? I finally figured out what X stands for. What? X actually means. I finally figured out what the hell you guys been talking about. <laughs> when we watch the video, we don't know what you're talking about, and yeah. now it's in English, so yeah. we don't know what we're talking about. Yeah. So let's go to the figures. At this time, uh, many people of us telling saying that this is a wonderful figures. With the it party. is. Yeah. It's it's a colorful character, of course, yeah. uh, from the movie. Yeah. And uh, well, let's let's go uh, do a head to toe scan. Yeah. Cool. 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 Yeah. So people can see all the detail first. Yeah. For the head scrub, the head scrub, I think uh, there's no way to worry about the cut toys quality and uh, looks really good close to the uh, actors, right? Yeah. The 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 lightness is uh, almost like spot on. Yeah. You know, yeah, uh, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah. And it's very difficult for, for them to mess up. I mean, the, it's all blue. You know, yeah, that's, yeah. that's no way. It's a little bit easier for, for uh, uh, normal human beings as well. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and there's a, we can change some parts for this, right? Or, or we can change later? Yeah, the Mohawk, it's uh, interchangeable. Well, let's do a head to toe. Okay. And then uh, we show you all the parts. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Do a quick rundown so everybody knows what's, yeah, what's cool. included. Uh, yeah. the the thing is uh, the uh, oh, what is this called the arrow wig? Yep. Yeah. Uh, this is part of the deluxe version, mm -hmm. so it comes with this. Uh, and the um, if you look at the accessories, you can you can tell this is the deluxe, the bird cage. This three of them. And also uh, rockets um, machine gun. Yeah. And a tiny tiny Groot. Groot is uh, the normal version. It it comes with the set. Oh, it's a normal version. Yeah. Oh yeah. The armors. The armors. The arrow wake. Arrow wake. The the bird cage. And the machine gun. Are from the DX version. Yeah. The cool. deluxe. We we can show the the fin. Yeah. 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 yeah it's yeah, it's yeah. interchangeable. <laughs> and how come uh, how let's come take it off. how come it's change, in the movies. Well, he had this. He had the norm. He had the the short one in the beginning, right? Oh, I see. So he got shot by Nebula. Mm -hmm. So this part is destroyed. He, mm -hmm. uh, it's not, it's not a Mohawk in the movie. It's called he, he calls the he calls it the fin. Mm -hmm. So he asked Groot to uh, get his prototype, which is the homage to the comic book version. Mm -hmm. So he's wearing at the end of the movie. Oh, I see. Yeah. So the rig is removable, right? Do yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, or when when to remove? Or we just, we now to compare the the quality of the the grid code first. Up to you. Yeah. Yeah. There's a there's a new technology. No, not a new te technology, but there's a very good technology in making this code. What is the name? Epoxy. Uh, he's talking about the details on on the sleeve. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, from my understanding, this is called epoxy printing. Yeah, and if you guys know a more professional term, uh, you know, feel free to tell us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, basically, it's just some kind of um, plastic yes. printing on on some kind of fabric. Yeah, and it has uh, texture and it's uh, quite thick. So when you touch it, yeah, you can feel the texture of the printing. Yeah, or, or yeah, a little bit the thickness. Yeah, there's yeah. a thickness. So, so what, is, what about the coat? Yeah, I think this one is uh, much much improved compared to the old one or similar one from from his son. <laughs> yeah, so we have Star Art over here. Yeah, yeah. and this and is his uh, coat. Yeah, this was already a very good quality. And you can coat. you can feel yeah. how stiff it is, right? Yeah, yeah. The, the thickness is a little bit thicker than this one, and it's not wired. And I think it's it's not there's easy. There's some wire to at the edge. Oh, there's some wire okay. at the at the bottom of the edge of this. Yeah, this okay, so there's cloth. wire here. Yeah. 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 But, but compared to this one, uh, they changed the format and they have the wire built in in the middle, middle part of the gray coat and make it. So here. Yeah, it's different. 
uh, I think both way works and both way have different uh, usage and uh, effective for making different posture. Mm. Yeah, but uh, it's good for Hot Toy to have a new try to see uh, how to place the wire inside the clothes to make different appearance. Okay. Yeah. And on this one, it's just a very plain lining. Yeah. And for Yandu, you can see they use a different kind of lining, and it's, I suppose, it's uh, movie accurate. Yeah. It's yeah. very detailed. But you can see uh, all through the all through the surface of this uh, pleather or leather brick coat is all with, with all details. You know the the texture of the natural natural leather, right? You can see all the natural patterns of the leather, and uh, moreover, uh, the the epoxy printing did a very good job for the appearance of the. Light yeah, and then there are different kinds of material used yeah. as well. You can see there's a patch over here. It, it looks kind of like leather, but it's still pleather. Yeah. And over here, you know, the side, uh, it's fabric. Yeah. And it's the same thing on the other side. See, it's, it's not symmetrical. The value of yeah. this part is already very high in this figure set. I mean, I mean the great coat. Mm -hmm. It's a very detailed and elegant or costly part for these figures. And you can, he can still move around wearing, the, wearing the coat, you know. Yeah, yeah. Oops. Yeah, so the articulation, it's not compromised by, by the jacket or uh, the coat at all. Yeah. yeah. And uh, talk about this, Joe. Yeah, the arrow. Uh, there are two arrows. It's a lethal weapons in the movies, right? So one is uh, not light up, you know, it doesn't have the red paint job. And uh, actually, it's not a paint job, uh, excuse me. It's, it's kind of like a, a transparent part right here. And also at the end of the, the arrow. And this one is for display. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when we doing this in the factory, yes, Joe is correct. This part, this whole part is transparent, and they paint and the the arrow parts in uh, you know copper or bronze color, and uh, the original material or plastic is transparent, and then make another pink or red colors mm. on it. Yeah. For the effect, right? So there are two effect parts which can be put together uh, and we figure out that you cannot use just this one and this one together mm. it doesn't work you have to use this piece and then you can you know just ooh, assemble it like this yeah like this ooh. and you can have this part kind of coming out from his jacket oh. or you can you can uh, Remove this and then you know have it, have him hold the arrow or like this. That's one thing I, I kind of uh, wish Hot Toy would have done mm. is his facial expression. Because oh. when he's doing the arrow, he's actually whistling. Mm -hmm. And you can see, you know, from, from this head sculpt, he's not. So it sometimes, you know, it, it kind of doesn't make sense, you know, he's yeah. using the arrow, but he's not whistling. Mm -hmm. So I wish they have at least two head sculpts, you know, one yeah. with the normal face. Yeah. Yeah. He's I think they're playing it too safe. Yes, yeah, but you know, this, this is, is a very, uh, like, you know, neutral looking um, facial expression. But but I, I wish they have two head sculpts. Yeah. yeah, but I think this is general practice of hot yeah. toys. They are yeah, playing very safe and you know with high standard. And uh, previously, they received re they they release a uh, double head scrub uh, uh, products mm -hmm. to the market. Yeah. But uh, you know, uh, making a one head scrub is very costly, in 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 a one set. So if they oh, yeah. make two head scrub, the the price or cost will be much higher. Mm. They, they they might be. Uh, considering if uh, the market can accept it, yeah, yeah, yeah. So sometimes 
I think most of the time they only make one head drop. They only make one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I certainly find that uh, you know when when Walker is shooting this video, I saw there is a dagger on his left forearm, right? Is a dagger here? Yeah, it's removable. Yeah, yeah very detailed one. It's one of the accessories. Wow, yeah. this this part is very detailed. I mean, not the daggers, but the you know the dagger holders. You know. Yeah, the straps. Yeah. yeah. And this is not leather or pleather. This is uh, plastic, PVC plastic. Okay. Yeah, so they did a very fine job on this PVC parts. Okay, that's one thing that I want to bring out. It's yeah. uh, his eyes. What's, what's that? I remember in the movie, his eyes are more red. Mm -hmm. They're not like light up red, but yep. you know, they're just like naturally red. red. Uh, but on, on this head sculpt, what do you think? They they kind of look like normal eye color, right? Mm, I think this this would be very difficult to do it like uh, you know, that's one in the movie, uh -huh. the effect in the movie. Uh, is in the movie it looked like a little bit transparent, like like a red light, you know. Yeah, a little bit head. like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think uh, they have to use some yang guang, right? Uh, like a uh, neon or highlight yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. color yeah yeah i think the mixture of this color cannot be applied to a very small part of mm. the eyeball so i think uh they have to overcome some technical difficulties mm. before doing that maybe do can you they can use like a you know for some way like in the for the ball joint door they use a real eyeball and with a transparent material with the real eyeball mm -hmm. and then they have a paint on the real eyeballs and it would have more uh, different uh, variations for the appearance of the eyes can be made but uh, you know this head scrub you know they said they have the eyeball and the head scrub itself is uh, one unit they are that tight that means they are all they are one piece all one they're piece not, yeah, yeah. done separately yeah okay i see what you're saying so it's very difficult to mm. do the way you want maybe if they if there are some like modelers out there and you know, they're very good at painting figures they can try to maybe you know maybe do some red on, on the eyeballs yeah on the iris but i never see one one did it before <laughs> yeah yeah like like the way in the movie yeah very difficult very mm. difficult to do it, okay Okay, so let's talk about the, the yeah. coat. After we remove the rigs, we see the coat have so, so much detail. Yep. Yeah. Many different technology has been spent on this, this tiny grid coat. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, you can see, for example, you, you find that there's a magnetic here, right? Yeah, there's like a small magnet over here. Yeah, so when doing the production, they have to find a place to put the magnetic inside and to fix the positions. Yeah, I think in the in the real uh, code, this is supposed to be like two buttons, right? Yeah. And then uh, you have this flap over here, yeah. and then it goes on the button. Yeah. But this is very nice, you know? You don't have to worry about yeah. it. And then it, it really looks like it's being fastened on, on the sleeve. Yeah, because we cannot use a real scale, you know, one six scale yeah. button, and it is functional. It yeah. is impossible almost. So they tried they try a very wise way to to make it happen and also i find also, also in the inner part they didn't they didn't you know save save the course you know the lining the lining is made with a uh, real seal seal screen painting so they had to spend more money on on, on this internal part of the lining yeah it looks a lot better than the other yeah because jacket from yeah yeah, the older version yeah. is they have only single color lining perfect yeah yeah so that means they spend more cost on it yeah and the batch you know the the fire yeah batch uh i forgot the name of, of this but it's it's the symbol for the for Ravenger. the ravengers yeah Ravenger. oh. uh this is plastic one piece and below that you can see the uh embossing design yeah. on the jacket itself as well yeah so this this Greco is terrific super detailed i think yeah and and uh they also have it over here over here you know there's so many yeah. tiny pocket yeah there are like hooks and rings yeah. everywhere 
Yeah. I don't even know what they're for. Yeah. For example, Walker was asking me about this little hook over here. I have no yeah, idea. Yeah. Those all the pocket yeah, and the details, right? And details not all functioning or working, but you know, they make a perfect appearance in one six scale for this great yeah. coat. And uh, this strap over here, it's very soft. Yeah. But uh, I'm kind of surprised. It's surprised it's just so soft. But it's not not yeah. Not it's PVC, right? Yeah, it's, it's PVC. PVC, and it's attached to the back. Yeah. Like this, so it's it's not removable. So if you take the coat off, you have to take this off as well. Yeah, yeah. The PVC material is a very good material in in making different, you know, structuring and and you know soft. Parts, you know, so they have different degrees. Sometimes you can see very hard PVC plastic, but sometimes you can see very soft one, because they can do by from range from ten degrees to hundred to twenty degrees. Mm. This is the hardness of the degrees of the PVC plastic. I see. Yeah, yeah. So the the inner uh, shirt, uh, we're not gonna take off the coat right now, but you can see, you know, uh, it's also nicely detailed with the suspender and there's a holster over here for the arrow. Let me put that on. Like this, right? Yeah. Oh, and there's a little uh, piece over here with the hole. Ooh. So I can put the end of the arrow. Over there. Like Ooh, this. this oh, there's also yeah. a pouch there, right? Ooh. Yeah. Holster. Holster, yeah. holster, holster. holster. Nice suspender, yeah. and, the, and the boot. You want to talk pants, about the pants? The pants, the pants, the pants, pants. Is also very detailed. Oh yeah, yeah. I yeah. we missed it. There's kind of like a zipper thing yeah. on the back. Okay, we can. Yeah. It's all this detail you don't even see them in the movie. Yeah, yeah. And that's the beauty of owning something like this. To such yeah. detail, you know, you buy the figure, you actually discover a lot of yeah, things yeah. that you didn't see in the movie. And you will be very exciting and happy when you open, unbox these items of yours because there's an extra and much, much details you never expected. Mm. Yeah, and you can see the boots, right? Yeah. They're like motorcycle boots, right? And uh, it's actually two piece. This piece and 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 uh, the shoe part itself it's separate. Yeah. From the from yeah. the ankle, and uh, you guys were telling me this is uh, just one piece of plastic. Yeah, right? yeah. It's, it's not like not, uh, not he's, he's wearing another yeah, yeah. Uh, plastic feet underneath. Yeah. No, this is just one piece. This is a regular practice of Hot Toys to to make you know very good appearance. Mm. Yeah, I uh, uh, not instead of you know real functional boots. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But it looks very good. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is like a fashion design <laughs> <laughs> examples of you know some university students. Okay, goes to the plastic or hard parts, right? The accessories. Uh, I think we we did a quick look uh, in the beginning, but Walker can you know definitely zoom in and show the details on the arrow rig. The yeah. paint job is very nice. Yeah, the it coating. Looks very, yeah, it looks very yeah. metallic. Yeah. Not even looks like there's a painting. Seems like it's, they are real metal. They are real color of the material. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, well, maybe just to summarize. Yeah. Uh, what do you like about this and what you want? wish Hot Toys I mean the technique of better. technique of making this product is really really number one in the world yeah, yeah. i have to say mm -hmm. yeah you know no no complaint for this great coat no it's it's probably yeah. the, the most detailed one i've ever seen <laughs> yes yes i think the great coat already cost maybe i guess i guess maybe cost about 200 rmb yeah okay it's true yeah because lots of uh uh handcraft okay handcraft product yeah yeah and rmb is the Currency for China, China, yeah. China, like China, yeah, yeah. Yes. Or you can call CNY, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think everything looks very detailed and nice. The the only complaint that I have, mm -hmm. uh, it's it only comes with one head sculpt. Yeah, or the head sculpt yeah. didn't have a good favorite, good expression, right? Yeah, and 
because this is not like the main character of the movie yeah. so we don't know if he's, he's coming back or there will be another one yeah. so you know this could be the last one that they make of Yondu Maybe. so I wish they you yeah, know put yeah, a little yeah. bit more into it and you know yeah. make the fans happy yeah because there's, they, they have no time to make a second version because there's a lot of Avenger freeze products yeah, forming the, out the line is very long so yeah, yeah. Oh, and um, I want to say something at the end. Uh, yeah. We really appreciate you guys uh, supporting Toys TV, especially uh, the English speaking fans. Yeah. And, and I want, just want to say that we go live every Thursday night, uh, Hong Kong time, uh, around 9 o'clock, 9 p.m. Yeah. or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, uh, Hong Kong time is uh, actually GMT, GMT plus 8. Yeah. So if it's 10 o'clock at night in Hong Kong, it's it's gonna be 10 a.m. in New York. Yeah. yeah. So you know, to do, do, do your Google, Google, and, and find it out. Yeah. Uh, so during that time, we we're doing it in Cantonese. But if you type in any comments and question in English, mm -hmm. and let us know, uh, I'll actually answer them for you live on on Toys TV every yeah, Thursday night. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, and Joe, you did a very good job for this first two episodes. Well, fan service. Yeah, I yeah. make no money off this, so <laughs> hopefully you guys like it. Yeah, yeah, but I think uh, we we have we we will. It looks like we are a little bit nervous or you know very too serious for these two episodes. Not not like uh, Him. you know the he's Cantonese. Very he's very nervous. Not not a Cantonese. <laughs> not a Cantonese. I'm program. asking him some things he's not answering. Yeah, so. maybe. I don't know maybe because I have, have been doing figure talk for almost one year, but but you know all maybe, by himself, right? So. Yeah, but maybe we try to sp speak more accurate English or better English, but because during the figure talk, I I speak, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, English. it doesn't matter if you know. Yeah. The, the whole point is if they yeah. understand what you're talking about, you know, and and this is fancy. Yeah. Just like yeah. these two figures playing very safe you know serious looking right <laughs> very serious very serious yeah <laughs> well just comment and let us know you know yeah. what you want to see in in in, the, yeah. in terms of content right yeah. you yeah. want to see yeah. more and more uh, talk about the manufacturing yeah. or, or the backstory or whatever yeah. but just let us know yeah. okay okay so see you guys next time okay thank you bye bye, -bye.